I haven't done a cooking video in forever, so I'm making picadillo, and I thought I would show you all how it's done. The Cuban and Puerto Rican way. First you need some ground beef. I'm gonna do a pound of ground beef, an onion, uh, maybe about a cup of cooked chickpeas, and I'm probably gonna cut up some potato in there too because my husband loves potato in there. So one medium-sized potato. First thing to do is brown your meat and break it up. Your meat is browning. Um, slice up a small onion or half of a large onion, a potato, and I cut it like fries. Got my garbanzo beans, half of this size tomato can or the small one, tomato sauce, garlic powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder, black pepper, and salt. Sorry, I wasn't showing you any of that. <laughs> I like to throw the onions in first and get that yummy sauteing onion flavor going. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> and I'll just stir it around a few minutes and then add the seasoning. And this is where I don't know how much salt. I just know. I'll try half a teaspoon first. And you can add more. There's not enough. Some more pepper. Maybe a quarter teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Turmeric, I just like a little bit, maybe like a quarter. And then start with a little. And then cumin, you want to be able to taste the cumin, so I would go maybe a quarter, maybe half. A little bit of garlic powder. I love my recipes. A little bit of this. Maybe half a teaspoon. All the meat and things. Oh, and you're gonna need olives as well. Forgot to mention those. Spanish olives. The turmeric is something I've recently added because it's yummy and really, really good for you and has great anti inflammatory properties. So that's not part of my traditional recipe, but. It is now. And you just want half of the can. So you can do the eight ounce can. I'll probably just freeze the leftovers. <coughs> and use it at, at a later um, on another recipe later. And throw in the potatoes chickpeas now as well as the olives so I put in the potato about a cup of chickpeas and um, I put enough for us each member of my family to get three olives mm -hmm. we love olives you don't want to go overboard with the olives though because they will change the saltiness of the dish and I am going to add just a little bit of water so that it can simmer and not get toasty, but more like a, not a stew, but just more liquid to make it. So I put a little water, not all the way halfway on the can, but maybe a quarter of the way through, into the tomato sauce can, just to get any tomato sauce that stayed on the lining of the can. And now I will cover this up and let it saute until the sauce and the sauces from the meat change appearance. I'll show you what I mean. There's a word for it in Spanish. I think it's guajar, como se guaja, but I don't know if that even exists. We just call it that, <laughs> um, if there's actually a term for it in English or not. So I'm gonna lower this to a low simmer and cover it up. There it is, simmering away. My husband walked in the house and he knew exactly what I was cooking just by the smell. It has a very distinctive smell. Picadillo, baby. It's ready. That little red tinge there, that's what we call guajal. We serve this over white rice. 